Hello, this is John Locke. Today I'm talking about a recent phenomenon, uh, the Google indexing bug. Most of you were probably not affected, but for those of you who were affected, you might be curious what happened. So this uh, occurred, today I think it's, it's April 8th, 9th today. This occurred the Thursday uh, before and it was fixed on the Monday. So it was about four days where certain sites were dropping out of the Google index. The pages uh, of certain sites were uh, de-indexed by Google. So the way that, that Google search works is Googlebot goes to your site, it goes to uh, specific pages, it basically takes a snapshot of all the information on that page, the code and everything, and pulls it back to the Google index. Then those, uh, the index is all the pages uh, that Googlebot has encountered. So when you search for something, it basically sorts stuff uh, according to the search algorithm and whatever is the best match is supposed to, to float to the top. But it all comes out of this bucket called the index uh, where it's all the pages that they've encountered. So some pages were uh, taken out. There was some sort of technical glitch for about four days at Google. Now they said um, just today uh, that some of these pages are still not fully back and some of them won't be coming back. And the reason being they said uh, some of them are not that interesting or they're, they're uh, duplicates of other pages. So they're just trying to uh, give the best results and eliminate redundant information in the index. But interestingly enough, and I'm going to link to the article in the show notes below uh, later when I go and do show notes, but interestingly enough, the Google representative, John Mueller, uh, said some interesting things, and you can read them and kind of read between the lines uh, of what he's saying, but uh, I saw another theory out there that, that said that what this was was an attempt to... Uh, eliminate private blog networks. Now that's a, kind of an unprovable theory and that's why I want you to look at uh, John Mueller's statements uh, in this article below and kind of read between the lines with it because they don't come out and say that that's what they're going to do. But um, they're looking for pages to eliminate that are, that, that are um, not valuable to uh, users, or they're not going to out and out say, like, we're trying to get rid of PBNs, and this was an attempt that we botched up. Although this is a theory that a couple of people have floated out there. Um, so if they have identified the private blog networks and they're de-indexing uh, some of those pages, the most egregious uh, offenders of that, uh, then that would be something interesting. But something went wrong. Uh, and it de-indexed a lot of legitimate sites. Fortunately, there is a way to get that back. Uh, if your site was accidentally de-indexed and it wasn't one that Google was targeting, and that is to go into Google Search Console if you have your site set up in Google Search Console, and then on the left-hand navigation, you'll see uh, right near the top, there's a um, button called Inspect URL. You can have uh, your page inspected and then submit it to be crawled by Googlebot. This replaces the fetch and render tool that was in the old Google Search Console. Now it's inspect URL and you can submit it. That's how it works in the new search uh, console. But interesting, uh, interesting story, uh, a four day glitch. I did not have any sites and I did not have any client sites that were affected by this. Uh, but very, very interesting. Uh, to further explain what a PBN or a private blog network is, um, a lot of people know that the links coming into the site, as we've talked about videos in the last couple days, when links flow into your site, that's like water flowing into a container. The more um, sites that you have linking in, and especially if they're categorically related to yours, the better that is going to be for your site because it fills up that container uh, with link uh, equity, that page rank that's getting passed like water into the container that's called your site. It makes it look better to Google. 
makes it look like it's more authoritative. Um, but private blog networks are a way that people manipulate the system. They buy uh, expired domains and then they will recreate sites uh, and then they will <clears throat> spin up a bunch of articles on them and then basically sell links from those articles to whatever local businesses are interested in buying links. Now this is a way to manipulate and basically also with this it's also a link scheme. These private blog networks because they are uh, usually in 2019 put on different hosting uh, so it's not all the same IP address and they will interlink to one another uh, in a way that passes page rank between them and pushes up certain pages. So the links that they're selling uh, to people um, in theory would pass page rank. Now when Google knows that they're looking at a PBN, they devalue those links. But I, you know, it's possible that this de-indexation bug that, that was rolled out between Thursday and Monday was part of their attempts to get rid of PBNs. But obviously it didn't work the way that it planned. Um, you know, I don't believe, that, Google is definitely smarter than it was 15 years ago or 10 years ago or even uh, six years ago, but there's a lot of things that still fall through the cracks if you're catching my meaning. But that is basically um, catching you up on the Google de-indexation bug. Again, if you were affected, go into Search Console, use the inspect URL tool, and then submit that URL to be uh, re-indexed and that should take care of it. Uh, and again, Google does not index every URL, every web address that they crawl. Every single page that they crawl does not get into the index. Uh, it will be curious to see how this story evolves over time. Something to keep an eye on. This is John Locke for Lockdown Design and SEO. We're here every day publishing videos for manufacturing companies so they can improve their SEO. I would love to see you subscribe. That is all I've got for now, and until next time, peace.